So that's just a spray, like what's on sports tape or plasters or anything. And then basically, these markers just reflect the infrared light from the cameras. So the cameras will see where each of these are on your joints and bones, where we position them on your body. Um, and it'll just track that so that we know where you are in 3D. And then we can turn that into a nice little skeleton report of your serve technique for you. Feel right? We've been collecting uh, 3D data on how Gordon serves and from that we can work out where every uh, ball is located on the racket, how fast the ball has come off the racket in the serve and then where the ball has landed along with the technique he's used to do that. So this will allow us to start to understand from a performance and an injury perspective how he serves. I think for me uh, just learning more about my own body and um, you know, the way it moves and what can be improved and you know at this level you're looking for those extra little bits of percentage of, of gain in, in your game and you don't often get access to that sort of technology to, to analyse your game like that so any opportunity I think is uh, one, one to take. So we'll be looking to see, you know, is there areas where he can improve? You know, is he hitting the, the, the ball all over the racket face? Can he improve his consistency or can he improve his speed? If he could be served 10% faster, maybe he'll win 5% more points. The NEC uh, Masters competition here at Loughborough is an invitation um, of the top athletes through the world. And it's really allowing us to have a flavour of showcasing our work, but giving an opportunity to understand more from the, the elite uh, athletes and begin to profile and benchmark. Um, but it's enabling us to bridge the gap to further the knowledge and the coaching knowledge and technical knowledge of the sport of wheelchair tennis.